the CDDA challenge for Project Zomboid. If you don't know, Project Zomboid is a zombie survival game set in Kentucky in 1993. In this game, there's a certain challenge that is truly the best masochistic start, outside of modding a game and making it even harder. The CDDA challenge. CDDA stands for Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, and is a top-down turn-based survival RPG made by Clever Raven, which as of making this video I noticed is on Steam now, which is pretty awesome. The CDDA run is described as, you get out of the shower and fall badly, you're blind drunk, and you have a nasty cold. On top of this, the house is on fire. Today is definitely not your day. At the start of the run, you are stripped of your clothes, you're soaking wet, drunk, have a cold, and are bleeding because of a shard of glass in your groin. The spawn point is also a single house in North Muldraw that is consumed by fire at the start. Oh, and zombie population is said to insane. I have been playing Project Zomboid for a few years now, but I have not tried the CDDA challenge yet, so here are my first few attempts. My first attempt I spawn in and only have one way to go, the bathroom. I quickly check to see if there is any food, but there isn't. Grabbing a can opener, I run to the bathroom which has some painkillers. Grabbing the sheets for bandages, I jump out the window before the house is consumed by fire. My first step is finding clothes. I run to the nearby house, hoping to find some, finding nothing but a sweater. I jump out the back windows and attempt to grab some shoes before getting swarmed. Running to the nearby house, I'm overrun. The second run I didn't get far. I run outside, stomp the first zombie I see, before being overrun and taken down by the horde coming in on me. This third run had the perfect start. Fire to the west side of the house, so I'm able to grab the sheets and bandage myself before losing too much blood. I walk out the door, and zombies aren't surrounding the house yet. Perfect. One lone zombie comes at me. I get their shoes. Next zombie, I get their pants and their shirt. Running into the nearby house, I'm able to grab some cereal and dry myself off with a dish towel. Even the cop zombie gives me his bulletproof vest. I could not ask for a better start. Running to the nearby house, I'm able to lose a handful of zombies that were following me. Then I decided I might as well kite them into the fire for a bit. I could thin out the horde easily by just running in circles and around the fire for a while. <laughs> And I did. I walked around over and over for a while. If more came in, they joined the crowd and they burned as well.
running the whole time, even though I didn't need to. Sure, I was limping, and that would result in the zombies being able to catch up to me. But the moment they go to lunge, I would move out of their grab zone, and I would be safe. I keep going, though, hoping the board burns itself out before I burn myself out. And so I loop them around more and more, keeping an eye on my health. I'd started to dehydrate. I ran to the burnt house, hoping to lose a few zombies, so I can duck back to the other house for some water. Unfortunately, there was a zombie bash on the door, so I had to jump in through the window. Grabbing the water from the kitchen, I avoid the burning zombie and jump back outside. I'll be fine. The zombies will burn out first. As the horde thinned out, more and more joined the crowd. Just as I was about to thin them out, I bled out. If I had only not run, my chances of surviving this start would have been a lot better. However, then I still would have had to get rid of the cold, find food in the six month later world where everything is insanely rare and rotting, and everything else to survive this run. I'll be giving you another shot sometime. For now, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.